In this video, I will describe the definition of a trapezoidal cohesive law and show you how you can fiddle with different parameters to change the shape of the trapezoid. I will then explain and share this MATLAB code with you where you can define the slope or stiffness of this cohesive law, can define the strength or maximum stress, can also define the area under the curve or the fracture energy, and finally a ratio r that uh, dictates how long this plateau should be. When you run this code, it will give you this damage variable and a displacement that you can input in abacus as tabular form and it will also show you the shape of the trapezoid for the given input trapezoidal parameters. So I can quickly show you that uh, for example if we change this uh, ratio from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 we can expect this uh, plateau size to increase. So let's do that and here you can see the plateau size has increased. Similarly, you can change the slope strength and also the energy or the total area of the trapezoid. You can then copy this data and paste directly in the damage evaluation type displacement for your cohesive material definition. I will talk about this in more detail soon. I will then run a simulation using that cohesive material and verify that uh, the simulation response of the trapezoidal cohesive law is indeed that we have defined using our MATLAB code. I will also mention what you need to take care of while using trapezoidal cohesive law. We have another video explaining a triangular cohesive law. Check for that video in our channel and also in the description of this video. To start with, let's say this specimen is pulled until failure and this is the force displacement response. If we convert this force response into stress response, so we will have this curve, stress versus displacement. This is uh, uh, roughly the cohesive law that can explain the uh, fracture in this area, uh, especially if we consider that uh, the linear elastic part or the part before the softening is uh, insignificant. Now we take an attempt to describe this uh, failure using a trapezoidal cohesive law. So that should look something like that. There are several ways to describe a trapezoidal cohesive law. So one of the way could be to start with the slope here and the traction or the stress increases according to that uh, stiffness or slope until the strength which is defined sigma c naught and once it uh, reaches there then it will have a plateau region. This region is measured by this separation delta 2 minus delta 1, which is this much. And finally, the traction decreases until it goes to zero and it decreases from separation del 2 until separation del 3 here. The fracture energy is given by the area under this trapezoid and defined as GC. We can use all three separations delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3 and combine them into a single parameter R. So this parameter or ratio R together with the fracture energy, the slope or stiffness C and uh, the strength sigma C naught can define this trapezoidal cohesive law. As I showed earlier, when we change this uh, ratio R, this the length of this plateau will change. For a larger R, this plateau will be longer. To start defining the cohesive law, you should already know fracture energy of the cohesive law and then you will choose a stiffness C. This is somewhat arbitrary but you can have a clear guideline which stiffness is better for uh, convergence and you will also choose the maximum traction. This is also somewhat arbitrary. A general recommendation is uh, you get this uh, stiffness of the cohesive law a bit more than the Young's modulus of the material. Finally, you will choose an arbitrary value of R defining the shape. Knowing this sigma C naught, the slope C, the fracture energy GC, and choosing a R can clearly define what should be the delta 1, delta 2, and delta 3. So these are your separation of the cohesive law. And using this separation and using these formulas, you can also define what would be the damage variable at any particular separation. This separation and damage variable, you need to define a trapezoidal cohesive law in softwares like Abacus. 
Also notice when the R value is zero, the cohesive law becomes a bilinear cohesive law. These equations have been implemented in this code. Here you will uh, input your fracture energy, the arbitrary uh, ratio R, and a reasonable approximation of the slope and the strength. As I showed already, if you run this code, you will have this damage variable in the first column and the separation in the second column. So these values are actually saved in this ABA underscore table. So you can directly go there, select all the data, copy them, and then in the cohesive load definition, go to damage evaluation and paste all the values here. So here I have pasted all these values. Make sure that the last entry says the damage variable is one. Sometimes this last line for some reason gets omitted. Also check the definition here, pause the screen. For rest of the input in cohesive law in elastic, I have used this slope of 1000 here and the type is traction. I used quad S damage. So I selected it from mechanical uh, damage for traction separation law and uh, this one and uh, input the value to be 0.1 in all three direction and these are the strength value that I have put in the code and finally you can also choose some optional damage stabilization so the viscosity coefficient here I used was uh, uh, 1 e to the power minus 4 and this is your whole definition of a trapezoidal cohesive law while implementing these formulas, especially to find this damage variable, the damage value that we have for a given separation at this transition from linear elastic part to the plateau, and also at this transition when we go from plateau to softening, we have to be very careful that we have a lot of uh, sample points around this transition and also around this transition. Otherwise, we will have numerical instability for uh, a simulation with a trapezoidal cohesive law. This point is very important, but this has been taken care of in this code. Now let's look at this model where we will implement our cohesive law. So this portion and this portion of this part is defined with a linear elastic material. And uh, here a cohesive zone has been defined. And we can see that we have a section with using the material trapy that we have just defined. The response is traction separation and out of plane thickness was 1.2 millimeter in this case and use analysis default for the initial thickness. We have also defined a cohesive element in this portion. Cohesive. This cohesive region was uh, created by just uh, using section in the part module like this. This is the simulation result and as we can see the pre-crack expands along the cohesive zone. It is critical that the cohesive law that we defined here using this damage variable and the separation which is then plotted here looks exactly same once we use that parameters into the cohesive law. To check that in visualization mode, we will go to tools, XY data, create and ODB field output. Uh, and then if we continue, it will pop up this uh, window. Here we will select the variable LE22 and S22. So LE22 is uh, representative for the uh, strain here, but in a cohesive law, this can represent the separation and S22 is the traction and uh, as uh, y is the normal direction for the cohesive elements we have selected the uh, y direction uh, separation and tractions and then we have to select a element where we will look for the traction separation responses so delete the current selection add selection edit and let's say we select this particular element and then if we now select plot it will plot the stresses and strain. The strain will be the separation and stress is the traction. So let's see that uh, where this uh, plot data are saved. You can find those in XY data. And as there are two integration points in a cohesive element, you will see two data for the separation and two for the traction. So let's go ahead and save for the first integration point, IP1, 
LE22 and S22 in IP1 and save them and they have they are saved here and here now we will go ahead and uh, operate on XY data from XY operate on XY data continue that will give you this particular dialog box and uh, there we will combine XX and in X axis is uh, the separation in Y axis is the traction if we plot we will get that this is the trapezoidal traction separation that is computed inside abacus now if you compare this one side by side that what we have defined that we can see this is almost identical that goes very sharp up and goes up to 0.1 megapascal which is this one and then there is a plateau there is a plateau and then there is softening and then this softening ends up to close to 0.08 millimeter we have more videos of intuition of cohesive law and definition of a bilinear cohesive law that you can check in our channel also as always you can find the matlab script that i used here and also the input file for this uh, particular model in the description of this video that's all until next time